Um, there's not a huge amount of um, new uh, in, in my file of facts. A lot of it is pretty much the same. I did a um, resolution page. I'm not really done. But I looked up the definition of resolution and it's a state of having firm determination. And that's what's written across here. And I want to remind myself of that. It's not a state of perfection. It's a state of firm determination. So that if I don't do all these things and whatever else I think of, I don't want to toss the whole list. I just want to pick up the next day and um, try to strengthen my resolve a little. But if I can't, it's not about perfection. Uh, and I need the reminder. Um, this is all the same. These are my old pages. These are my arrows. Just a pocket. And I, I think a lot of these I've already shown. I'm just trying to get to today. Yep, I know I've shown those with the donut stickers. Um, I like these these graph um, post-its. Uh, they're really good for shopping lists. They don't fit this way in a personal, but for something like a list that you don't need in front of you, it's really good. I'm really getting into this black and white washi tape. I think it's really pretty. It doesn't, if you ever order it, it doesn't seem to stick quite as well as the colored tape, but I sure like it a lot. Um, yeah, this stuff definitely sticks better than the black and white. This is also thinner. Um, Just noticing. Okay, I think we're getting close here. Yeah, New Year's Eve, so we're very close to today. And this is the page I started on. Um, I did something with this ruler. I'm trying to lose 10 pounds in a month. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but like I said, firm determination. So what I did is I put a piece of washi tape and I numbered them one through 10, which says goal. And I added um, stickers and little things. And as I lose, a pound and then two pounds and three pounds and hopefully all the way to ten pounds by February 4th all the tape will be gone because um, washi tape is easy to get off. The other advantage is I'm just going to use it as my day ruler so it is right in front of my face like every day reminding me what my goal is. Uh, I, I don't do really well with goals. I mean, I make them and I plan on doing them and I intend on doing them and then they're, uh, you know, I get up to go get some tea and it's gone. I've completely forgotten it. So I thought doing this one goal on the Today Ruler, which sits in front of my sheet for that day, might really help me. Um, I don't know if it will. <laughs> I'll certainly um, let people know, and if you see some of the tape gone, you'll know that I've lost some weight, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the other new, the other new thing that I showed in a blog post is the cash envelopes, uh, the same as goals for me. Even though it really helps to write things down, unless I repeatedly see them over and over, they're 
more like a vague concept than something I actually need to physically do or think about on an ongoing basis. And I was really caught unprepared um, for the holidays this year. I promised myself I'm not going to do that every year, and I did it again, and I'm going to do something to try to help this year. I'm putting aside money in envelopes for the holidays for next year. I'm not going to do a full year on any of these envelopes because, frankly, I don't want hundreds of dollars sitting in my file of facts. Um, if it gets stolen, I'm screwed, and if I need money, I'm going to be tempted to take it. So I'm putting a limited number of months. Um, this may be too many months in you know in each one and I have some cash and um, if it starts to feel uncomfortable carrying around that much I will redo the envelopes or I will take the money and redo the envelope whatever month it is say it happens in April I'll take this envelope out and um, restart so I'm never running around with a lot of cash um, this is for my post office box. I'm doing the same thing. My post office box comes due every six months, so I'm going to try to get six months in here. Uh, again, depending on how comfortable I am with just carrying around cash. I mean, that's not the most comfortable thing. Um, this one is, it's for like random doctor's appointments and co-pays and prescriptions. This is hard for me to predict um, how it's going to go, whether I'll have enough money, whether I'll have way too much. So we'll see how that goes. And this is something I've already been doing. I take out the grocery money at the beginning of my month, and that's what I spend. I don't use my debit card anymore. It's too vague. Um, so this is working for things that come yearly or fairly predictably like um, prescription costs and things like that I'm gonna see how this goes I expect that it'll go well um, I really do need another one for my Amazon Prime membership I really like Amazon Prime a lot it's about eighty dollars a year and you get free two-day shipping or for I think it's four dollar one day shipping which is terrific but it is eighty dollars and I think it would be easier if I broke that up into months so I'm probably gonna add one of those um, and a miscellaneous because all of this cash is accounted for you know I need to put some money in my wallet that I just have for emergencies and if I don't spend it I will transfer it over into one of these the following month. The other thing I want to do is with regards to money is when I get um, I don't know if I get money for my birthday or I sell something on eBay or something I I don't want to spend the it's basically like unexpected or found money and I don't want to spend that. I really want to save it. Um, I, I buy too much stuff and I would like not to do that. I would like to have a buffer in my life with regards to money which I've never I've never had. So that's a big goal for this year. Um, something, yeah, save unexpected money. And also January spend diet because it's out of control. <laughs> so those are really the only new things I was going to do the um, I was going to show the Piazza with the transfers but I think I will save that for another video. Um, there's I, I changed this from a wallet and made my Piazza a wallet just to use so I can see if the transfers stick. So right now there's no um, 
reports or anything, ID or anything in here. Um, I did like using it as a wallet, so after I see how the transfers work on the Piazza, I may just go back to the um, Portland, but I'm not sure yet. So we, there's Ginger. Ginger won't get up, so pretty much everything is just all over. All the things I need to put away are on the bed, and I can't do any of it. And Ginger really hasn't even moved. He's quite tired this morning. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. And I can't wait to see everybody's file effects videos. It just makes my day when somebody puts up a file effects video or a planner video. Or I find somebody new. And that just always makes me happy. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy New Year, everybody.